In this video I'm going to be showing you how to walk into the shot and play it successfully, at least most of the time anyway. This is Break From Life. Welcome back and if this is your first time watching one of our videos then it's fantastic to have you here. Before you go to walk into a shot, there's two things that you should know already. The first thing is to work out exactly what we want to happen. Now here it may be fairly obvious, we want to pop the red into that pocket. But in a game like this, that might not be so simple. You see here what we're looking to do is not only pop the red, but get on the black here like this. But what if the situation wasn't like that, it was like this. In this situation, we can't pop the black into this pocket. We can only put it into that one. So what we're going to have to do is play the white across the table like this to finish on the black over this side. But what if the black wasn't available or even there entirely, like this? Then, from this situation, we're going to have to play a stun shot to get on the pink. The second thing is to work out exactly how you're lining up the shot before you play it. I've made an awful lot of videos explaining how to line a shot up accurately. There's even one in the card right now. Give it a click if you want to know more. And remember, the more you understand about the shot you're about to play, and the more accurately you can line it up before you even play the shot, the more successful you will be. Once you know exactly what you want to do and you've lined the shot up to the best of your ability, then you're ready to walk in on the shot. And if we're trying to pot this red, then we're going to have to play the white straight along the bulk line. If you imagine we extend this line back across the floor, then ideally you want to be walking in to the shot with your head directly above this line. And when you stand on the shot, you want the foot below the hand you play the shot with to be on or around the line, exactly where will depend on the size and shape of your body. But you can find out exactly where this is by watching our video, How to Stand in Snooker. It's in the card right now and on the Break From Life channel page, along with a load of other videos that'll help you dominate at the game and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel. I always think it's a good idea to make sure your elbows are nice and wide as you go into the shot. This can prevent one arm going straight and the other tucking in behind you and you just generally being too stiff. And keeping this arm on line can be fairly crucial as well. It's then time to balance the cue on your hand. The basic bridge for snooker is to just place your hand on the table completely flat like this, bring your knuckles up and bring your thumb in. You can then place your cue in this nice V. Now, if the thumb moves at all or is a little bit loose and not tight in there, it's going to make you incredibly inconsistent. But once you can do this, you can then raise your bridge hand up or lower it to any height to play any basic shot. As you go to queue up to the white, you should be focusing on the same point on the object ball all the way down. Then when you get to the white, you want to check you're queuing it through the centre, and this matches up to how you're playing the red. And if it doesn't, then you want to get back off the shot and play it again because you won't improve at all if you simply move around on the shot. I wonder if... You may have noticed people in sport tend to be very superstitious, saying things along the lines of... I mean, glory to God, first and foremost, we wouldn't be here without him. Or in Britain... I'd use the same urinal in the dressing room. Out of the three. And this is only because this tends to be the same people who have had an awful lot of success from repeating the same techniques and tactics over and over again in a ritualistic way. Does this mean you have to be slightly crazy to be successful at sport? Well, no, you just need to be able to recreate the same pre-shot routine as often as possible. Always coming into the shot in the same way and doing the same things when you're there. Most importantly, making sure you're not starting to play the shot before you finish pulling the cue back. And this little pause can make all the difference between playing the shot smooth and jerky. Lastly, but still very importantly, you want to keep your head down and as still as possible. Any sort of movement can interfere with your aim and your cue action. 
It's also a good idea at this stage to see if you can spot the exact point the white strikes the object ball. If you haven't tried this before, this is in fact very difficult to do, but it can help you understand what you're doing right and wrong, even if it is only at a subconscious level. Remember, on a shot you miss, you hardly ever know where the white went. If you want to cope with all the pressure of getting this wrong, then simply concentrate on what you've got to get right with the psychology of remembering and do this. Take the time back from the shot to work out exactly what you're doing and line the shot up. Once you've done this, you're ready to walk into the shot on a straight line from behind this. Try to keep your head above the line of the shot and if possible your cue as well. Keep your elbows wide while still trying to keep your cue on line. Make sure you're aiming for the correct place on the cue ball. This should point directly on line to the object ball and your cue hand should be stable. Ideally when you're right up to the ball here your cue arm should point straight down like this. Make sure you keep your normal routine on the shot and don't play it too fast and when you play the shot keep your head down and try to spot the exact place where the wide strikes the object ball. Getting this all right will not stop you feeling under pressure, but it will mean that how you feel is irrelevant and you will pot the ball most of the time so long as you've lined the shot up right. And if you want to know more about lining the shot up right, then try a video snooker aiming method. Or if you want to know more about how to stand in snooker, then try a video how to stand in snooker. And remember, don't just watch, play, and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website. See you later.